Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! It's not. Alright, it's fine. Okay, so here's the deal. My wife is out for the night. So I have like a good two hours for me to do this up here. All right, so I got all this great stuff. I, I, I got uh, Road Rocket and Scourge and, and Blur and, and all these all these things, all, all of these items and all these things. But tonight we're gonna do something else. So screw all this stuff. Tonight we're gonna do all three at once. And to help me, I thought, I thought there was someone here to help me. Is there anyone here to help me? There, there is no one here to help me. All right, I, I was hoping I had a, oh, okay, Casey's here to help me. All right, Casey, Casey, bring, bring me the middle box. <clears throat> no, 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 put that down, put that down. Yeah, because you don't want them to see it yet, all right? So give me the middle box. All right, we're doing all three of these. These are the modern icon masks. Now these are super detailed masks. Yeah. We're gonna go through the whole gamut and then Casey is gonna try them on for us. All right. So, okay. Now with these, <clears throat> these were available at GameStop. I don't know if they were available anywhere else. I don't think I think they were, and there's Optimus Megatron Soundwave. I think Soundwave is an exclusive to GameStop. But, <clears throat> here's the box. You got your classic 84 box art on the back. All right, this has premium collectible helmet inspired by Optimus Prime from Transformers. Electronic collectible helmet with LED light up eyes and authentic Optimus Prime voice phrases and sounds detailed paint and battle damage for a real world feel detailed interior sculpting and design uh needs three 1.5 volt batteries push button activated all right we'll worry about the batteries later <clears throat> all right now a lot of you are saying uh but Rick, don't you get two of everything? One to open, one to keep sealed? And that's generally true. But this is a uh, licensed good. I mean, I'm not going to get two of every statue, one to open and one to keep sealed. No, I'm not going to, you know, it, it's different if it's a figure. If it's a figure, yeah. All right, but this is a, uh, this is a non-window box item. Come on, cut me a break. <clears throat> All right, this is what we're working with on the inside. <clears throat> now, I have pur purposely stayed away from reviews and videos of other people. Okay, we got some, does that, nope, that's not part of the helmet. <clears throat> All right, so once we take out that top part, that's it, that's, that's the whole thing. <clears throat> All right. Um, bicycle helmet. This is not a bicycle helmet. Do not use this as a bicycle helmet or a motorcycle helmet. It, it, that would be ill-advised. So you have instructions. You have some felt pads that I assume... These are Velcro. You stick them on the inside. You've got some headgear, which has... Interesting. So the headgear pops in. It's adjustable, right? It's too, too small for me. It's kind of just right for Casey. And then these click in, but what's interesting is that they actually have paint detail on these. It seems a little unnecessary. 
<clears throat> okay, anyway. Uh, cushion. We have instructions how to operate. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Here it is. Voila. Uh, all right, first impressions right off the bat. The battle damage looks like somebody took a silver sharpie and just sh 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 completely distracting, very unnecessary because it's done so poorly. This is a heavy piece. This is a heavy helmet. Yeah. All right. Well, compared to a lot of other products, compared to the Cobra Commander helmet, which I, I have, this one's pretty heavy. All right, so this opens in the back, right? Because you can't get your head through there. So this opens in the back, and then you click it behind you. How will you breathe? All right. Uh, you're gonna have to hold your breath the whole time. Inside, it's gonna be tough, tough to see. But there we go, there's a lot of detail. It looks tinted in these. Yeah, the, the eyes are tinted blue. So even when the LEDs are off, it's still going to look blue. There is a piece for your nose to rest on. Obviously, you don't want to wear glasses during this, but here's the thing. Be careful. Yes, we should always be careful with our knives when we're done using them. Let's close them up. <clears throat> the batteries go on the inside, and you, and you have to screw them out. Casey. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to send you on a mission to go to mom and dad's bedroom. And underneath her desk, on the side, there's three plastic cases. Tiny, about this big. With screwdrivers and stuff in them. Go bring the cases down. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> uh, by the way, uh, for anyone listening, if you need a stocking stuffer, and this is great for... I found as a husband to a woman, get her her own little like uh, stocking stuffer size, uh, Allen wrench kit, screwdriver kit, little tool kits, wrenches, put them in the stocking stuffers. That way they stay away from your tools and they have their own little set of cute little tools with a nice little patch. They're, uh, they're really cheap at, at Lowe's during the holiday season. Perfect stocking stuffers for them. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to, man. Delivery. All right. So the screw is in here. This is what I'm talking about. Cute little thing to give you your wife or husband, whatever. <clears throat> All right, so we have to, when you're screwing a screw, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. All right. So turn it left to loosen the screw. to unscrew this on the inside. It should have been right here. Yeah, it should have been on the outside. But I guess to hide all the seams. All right, Casey, so you know that shelf that fell the other day? Yeah. I need you to get three of the tiny, thin batteries from it. Brand new ones. They're called AAA batteries. <clears throat> three of them. <clears throat> all right, <clears throat> here's the real taste test. Will it fit an adult Transformers fan? Casey, the, the shelf, you have to open the cabinet to get to the shelf. Oh, okay, mom took them all up. All right, batteries, Casey, batteries, focus.
All right, that is a tight fit. And I have very short hair. All right, let's see. Perfect, 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 perfect. Those are for later. So these are AAA batteries, Casey. It's a battery and the batteries are gonna activate the electronics. Oh, now see, I open up the side hatch. It's a lot easier. How much was this? Uh, you're not gonna tell mom. All right, these are about $109 a piece. Why would you buy that? Funny, it sounds uh, a lot like mom talking. All right, now this, it was extremely uncomfortable to have this on my head just now. So I'm guessing this will plug in here, excellent. Save this for later. <clears throat> Greetings. It's I the voice. Optimus Prime. It's the voice of Optimus Prime. All right, Casey, come here. <clears throat> Here's a real test. All right. There you go. Now, the activation buttons on the side. I want to take a picture of that. So we meet again. More than meets the eye. More than meets the eye. Transform and roll out greetings. I am to the picture. All right, but hang on, Casey. We're trying to listen to all the sounds. We meet again. All right, so it sounds like it's four phrases. More than meets the eye. One, two, three. Transform and roll out. There's a new one. Five. Greetings. All right, so maybe it's five phrases. I don't think the box indicated how many. All right, Casey, now I'm going to let go, and you walk around the table with the helmet on. I want to see how you walk. No, 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 Casey, the, the table. This is the table. Now, after you press the button, I notice the lights on the eyes are staying on. Move, move a little lights? over here. The light, the lights are on in the eyes. So we meet again. All right, Casey, go turn this light off, and then come back. All right. Turn, turn this light off, Casey. Too. All right, come, come back. We're gonna do this in the dark. Come back to where you were standing, over here. Don't look at me. Look at the camera. More than meets the eye. Transform and roll out. All right, turn the big light off in the living room. <clears throat> now remember, don't tell mom. All right, let's see how it looks. Greetings. I am Optimus Prime. Awesome. So we meet again. All right. Selfie, All right, we will. We will. Go turn the lights on. Casey, clean your room. No. Greetings, so we meet again. Oh. Okay, so that that is a tight fit. That is a tight fit. What is different about this one than the Cobra Commander one? And I'm just gonna double check the box. It's a Cobra Commander. That's the blue helmet I have. That at the store, is that that one comes with a stand. This one does not come with a stand. So I'm gonna have to go buy some, some mannequin heads. Uh, good place to look for them, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, 
you want to really find stores that are closing, going out of business. So I got this great story about a mannequin. I'm driving around doing Rick stuff. And I see this. Wow, these batteries are super hot. Careful. Yeah. These batteries are. are super hot. Oh! Wow. Okay. So I'm not sure what caused the batteries to do that. These are brand new batteries. Maybe we so, should use gloves. So let's um, let's look to Facebook Craigslist. Craigslist. We'll find some mannequin heads, yeah. or we can just find some uh, helmet stands off the Amazon. Whatever, uh, you know, ladies' choice. Helmet stands off the Amazon. So we're filming right now. Yeah, right, but uh, no, I'm talking to them, not to you. So, um, let's get Megatron out. That's, which one's Megatron? This one. Yep. And by the way, it's a good thing mom's not here because someone's not using a coaster. It's a coaster. So I'm walking, I'm driving around doing Rick stuff. I see this store going out of business and I'm like, all right, it's a clothing store. Let me see if they have any cool displays. I stop in and I see this silver mannequin. It's like the silver surfer, but kind of a matte finish. Is this a coaster? That's a placemat, but that'll work. Oh, now this one has foam packaging on the inside of it. So I'm walking around. I see this mannequin. I'm like, how much for this mannequin? Full body mannequin. They're like, ah, 200 bucks. I'm like, listen, today's the last day this place is gonna be here. You gotta sell everything you wanna sell. So I rick them down to $100. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna pay 100 bucks for a mannequin. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna pay 100 bucks for it. So, This one, painted detail on the part that goes on the inside. Another cushion for the top of your head, a little, little yarmulke style. And I'm driving home and I'm like, what can I do with this mannequin? Should I put him in the window? What should I do? And I remember, <gasps> I've got a Captain America costume. So I dress up the mannequin as Captain America, shield and all. I know this story. And I put it right in our closet. We have a walk-in closet. Because my wife would come home every day. First thing she does, goes right up to the closet, gets chant. So as soon as you open that door, there's that mannequin. Can I finish the story? No, because I'm going to finish the story. This is my story, my show. When it's Casey's tape to cut, you tell your story. I so, I, I, you know, it's like 5.30, I don't hear anything. So I, I call my wife, um, and I'm like, hey, um, how was your day? She's like, oh, fine, I'm just on the bed relaxing. I'm like, great, great. So she just came home, instead of going to the closet, she's laying on the bed, fine, fine. So I come home, I like, I'm like jetting through the door. I go up the stairs, go across the house, and then I go to our bedroom, and as soon as I open that bedroom door, there's the mannequin. <laughs> she moved the mannequin from the closet to the front door of our bedroom. So I open it, and I'm instantly frightened to death, but I'm also laughing hysterically. I have never been more frightened and found something so humorous at the same time. I was crying because it was so funny, but I was also scared to death. And, and I, I, I've never loved my wife more than I have in that one moment. Not even when my kids were born. So what do you want to say, Casey? So then I came upstairs. I was wondering what, why you were dying laughing on the floor. Because you saw the Yes, so 
Megatron. We're filming the show. So Megatron has... The battle damage looks a lot better on Megatron. It's more appropriate for him. It's stiff. You don't want to get hit by this. And this one feels a little firmer than the Optimus. I feel like if I drop the Optimus, it'll break. I feel if I drop the Megatron, it'll just crack. And that might add character to it. The back does not open. There is detail on the inside. Hang on a second. Let's, let's put this on. Oh, now see, this one fits a lot better than Optimus does. Well, hang on, I'm gonna put the batteries in and then you're gonna put it on. Batteries are hot. Now this is cool, look, it's got a, it's got a Decepticon symbol carved into the inside of it. And it, hang on, and it looks like that. See, that's the Decepticon symbol, just like Daddy's tattoo. And it looks like that is, yep. Yeah. So let's unscrew this. All right, hang on. Let's unscrew this Decepticon symbol. And hopefully that is where the batteries go. Oh, now hang on a second. This one. Let me check the instructions to make sure I'm unscrewing it in the right. Ah, I'm not. Wow, so even though there's a screw hole here, I guess that's part of how the inside attaches to the outside of the helmet. All right, so this is even more precarious. screws in there tight. Wow. You see, this is tough. I can do it. Your hands are smaller. Hang on, I think I got it. All right, Casey, hold this tight. Hold this helmet tight so it doesn't move anymore. It's in there at an angle. Hang on, Casey. I, I know you want to help. You are helping. This is the smallest screw head we have.
Wow, so as far as accessibility, this must have been the only place where this could have gone, hiding it in that big, big bucket head of his. Yeah, that's why they nicknamed him the Buckethead. Yeah, yep. Don't call him that though, he won't like it. So I call him Buckethead. Do you want? He won't like it. I thought you said you didn't like him to call him Well. I'm gonna give you a chance to try it. Why don't you hand over the, uh, the last mask while you work on that? Why don't you hand over the last mask while you work on that? Okay. Why don't you hand me the last mask before you work on that? Last Yeah, so there's a mask behind you. There's three of them. Mm -hmm. So hand me that one. Can this be mine? No, it cannot, that's very cute. No, they cannot be yours. Can you make my birthday present? Uh, you can earn them. You know, you can do chores and stuff. All right, so Soundwave. I really want to know. Righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. So you want to turn it to the left. To the left. Counterclockwise. Why does that one have So. Eyes? I thought that was Optimus Prime. No, this is Soundwave. He can have red eyes or he can have yellow eyes, depending on uh, which nationality you go in. So, I really want to know what the That's voice... That's not a screw. Casey, it's a screw. It's Casey, it's a screw, honey. Okay. The problem is we need a, a thinner screwdriver Optimus to get to this. And, and sound waves look like seconds. Don't they? Hey, look in that remote caddy over there. See if there's a really small screwdriver. Which... Where all the remote controls are. So, um, yeah, does this talk? Light up sound, light up LEDs, uh, authentic sound wave voice phrases and sounds. So, says authentic, which makes me wonder if it is Welker, i.e. Dr. Claw. So we get double card on this one. Because right. inside. All right. So we get we get three pads. Okay, so we get three pads for that one, but they're gonna stay there. And no, oh, here's the headgear. All right. So you can try that one on, Casey. Try that one on and walk around with it. Everything's red. All right, so Soundwave, Optimus, Megatron. Great, great detailing on this. This one does open up. Another beautiful Decepticon symbol on the inside of it. So the Decepticon symbol is right here on the opposite side of the mouth plate. Optimus does have an Autobot symbol carved on the inside. This one looks like it might be a little better space-wise. A new sound wave. Ma. Ew. You are the papa. Where's Optimus Prime? We should do a whole podcast just wearing these. Mm -hmm. Okay. You say we should do a whole podcast of swearing. Or yes, of swearing. All right. So let's look because I see a lot of screws on the inside. Let's just see. So that's interesting. So the button is right here. The button's right here. So let's see where the battery pack is. 
battery pack, buttons here, but the battery pack's on the other side of the helmet. So according to my calculations, No, it's actually on the same side. Well, so the button is here. All right. Let's see if this is it. easier. All right, let's put our batteries in this. It is Frank Welker. Casey, it's Frank Welker. All right, so one thing I noticed, try that on. He says, all talk, no shock. What he should say is laser beak eject. The button is gonna be right over here, Casey. Give me your finger. So walk around with that one. Turn the lights off. Okay. Use the force. Turn the lights off. Can't hear me. All right, stand over here. I can't see anything. Okay, use the lights. No, no, Casey, come here. Where are you? Follow that sound. Okay, turn the button on. All right, so that's it. That's it for Cut the Tape. We got through all three statues. Um, Megatron is being fussy when it comes to the battery. It's in a weird spot. Uh, Soundwave is definitely my favorite. But he should say laser beak eject instead of all talk, no shock. So with that being said, Casey, you want to hit the camera? We'll see you next time on Cut the Tape. We've been absent for a while. Sorry, I got sick and then I had a little car accident. Things are okay now. Uh, so remember, wash your hands. Be kind to others. Casey, take us out. Be careful with knives.